What's going on guys, it's Ben. I'm Liam, we're Center Ice Hockey, and what we have for you guys today is a little bit of a different video. It's not a review, well it's kind of a review, but it's a review of stuff we own. So we're going to do an in the bag video, both of us. we got both of our bags here, we got our sticks. We're just going to kind of give you guys a little bit of a, I don't know, like a little deep, like, in, like what, insight? No, that's not the word. Uh, mm, I don't know. Whatever, you guys are going to get to see our equipment. Awesome. So let's jump right into it, I guess. Um, I'll start off, we're just going to literally pick equipment out of our bags. Whatever and comes first. Whatever right. comes first is, yeah, what we're doing. So, I'm going to start with our shin pads. Um, yeah, by the way, we don't have the top of the line gear. Let's just throw that out there. And it's um, been used for years. And Yeah, some of these, yeah. I think you got the newest thing and it's your pants. Yeah, probably. And those are two years old. Anyways, shin pads. I use Easton S19s. Honestly, I do not really like these, but they get the job done. They block pucks. They do, you know, they do what you got to do. Um, you know, overall, like, the, the, they feel okay, but they just, like, there's a, I don't know, the way that they shape around your leg just kind of, it's, like, rounded on the sides here, like, and just, like, I don't know, there's, there's just, like, it, there's parts that are comfortable and the parts that aren't comfortable, but, yeah, that's what I got for my shin pads. I don't want to, you know, give you a life story on my shin pads. <laughs> so, I it. use the uh, Bauer Supreme 180s. Uh, these things are comfortable. I mean, they're a little small on me, but they're a perfect fit. I mean... Good protection, they block pucks all the time. Um, as you can tell, I don't know if I'll be able to get in there, Ryan. They've had use. Both of them are torn up to shreds, and you can tell it's, they've been used. Um, comfortable, comfortable shin pads. A lot of protection. Uh, got that cuff protector right there, calf protector, cuff, whatever. <laughs> uh, that calf protector. This helps out a lot, especially if you go down and block a shot on that side. You got that little bit of protection right there to... Uh, help you out and not injure you, but yeah, good shin pads. Um, I guess next we're just going to move into the pants or breezers, whatever you guys like to call them. Um, actually, what even are these? That's a good question. Um, 160s. Yeah. Bauer 160s. Extremely comfortable. Um, definitely my favorite pair of like pants, breezers, whatever you want to call them, that I've ever owned. Um, they're blue <coughs> because they, they used to match the team that well, Ryan and Ben play on now. Um, they get the awesome shells now, but they didn't have those back then. It was just blue when I played. So, yeah. So 160 is very comfortable. Um, they, you know, they got the tailbone protection here, like the nice, like you know, red. You know, it's hard. You know, it's really good because we all know tailbone shots freaking hurt. Um, yeah. So really nice pants. It's a really good. Like if you're on a budget, very good pants. Uh, ben, what do you got? Um, I'm going back a long time. I got the Bauer Vapor X40s. Um, as you can tell, they are torn up. They've seen better days. I got them like this. I got them for free. Um, I needed a new pair of pants. Not my first option, but they are super comfortable. Um, great padding all around. Uh, yeah, pretty much that. Super comfortable. Super affordable at the time. And yeah, that's all I got on hmm. these. Super comfy. That's all I got to say. Let's see. What are we doing next? Here? Let's do shoulder pads. Oh, man. I got a story for these ones. So I use Mission Fuel uh, 85. I'm pretty sure these are not for sale anymore, anywhere. Um, I got these literally, I'm not even kidding you, I think I got these seven years ago. These are still good. Yeah. Um, they used to have like this really stupid arm guard thing right here. And yeah. actually, Ben and I had a teammate last year who actually took them all off of our shoulder pads when we weren't looking because he was like, These oh. thingies. Yeah, he was like. I don't know why I still got them in my bag. <laughs> he, he was like, oh, it makes you, you know, it makes you more flexible you and, stuff right like, and stuff like that. It was just like, I don't know, it was really awkward to have it like kind of flapping on your arm. Yeah, I get it for protection, but I mean, you gotta take some risks sometimes, right? But uh, I mean, these are just comfortable just because I've had them for so long. Um, they're not too bulky, you know, they're nice and like, I don't know, they're fitted for me. I don't know. Like, I do need to get a new pair, but I mean, I still like these, so I don't know. But then what do you got? Going back. I got Bauer Supreme 180s. Um, got same these as your shin pads, right? Same as my shin pads, yeah. yeah. Uh, I got these, I think, two and a half years ago. Super comfortable, like Liam said. We took those little these things off. Um, yeah, they're there for protection. Sometimes I wish they're there because I get cross-checked in this part of my arms somehow all the time. But without having them there, you got so much more movement going up and side to side and all that. Just a lot more movement. Uh, 
Which helps super, with your shot. And yeah. <laughs> it does that, yeah. Super comfortable, super lightweight. Um, yeah, good, just really good protection all the way down. I get that extra spine right there. But yeah, super comfortable. Um, what's next? Um, well, okay, we're not going to get weird, so jock straps are definitely out of that category. Uh, if we wanted to. But for you weirdos, I use, I use a warrior one, just in case you wanted to know. I use a bower. Well, we used to have matching ones. We used too. to have matching. That was cute. It was, it was awesome. Everyone was like, oh, you guys are so cute. Um, let's do yeah. elbow pads next. Ooh. Here we go. All right, <laughs> I got another story for these ones too. So I use Bauer Nexus 1000s. Um, these look story. like they've been around for 15 years, even though they've been around for like what four, maybe three two. or four, two. Or I found these literally next to a trash can. I was at practice and they were just sitting on the ground next to a trash can. And I was like, I looked at them. And I was like, damn. At the time, these were like 150 bucks. I'm like, or maybe not 150 bucks. It's a little much, but like, no, they're about no, yeah, no, like 100 like bucks that. maybe. Like, they're they were expensive, expensive at the time, <laughs> and I had these terrible, I don't even know what they are, they're probably laying around here somewhere, but like... You had those iTechs that I gave you, were they? Oh, were they the iTechs? Those orange ones? Yeah, they were like orange iTech, and they were super little, and like, they just, all the Velcro kept popping off, like... Yeah, they but yeah, so I found these super comfortable, except they never seem to dry. That, like, that's disgusting. That's how I am with these. <laughs> they're, yeah, it's just kind of nasty to throw your arm in like this cold-ass, like, you know... I probably shouldn't do this with going to work in an hour. Yeah, right, we're just going to smell terrible. But yeah, that's, that's kind of what I got going right now. I mean, I like these. They're comfortable. You know, check them out if you get the chance. Uh, ben, what you got? Um, I'm going back. Way back in the day. I got Nike Bauer 190s. I honestly do not even know where these came from. Nike Bauer. Wow. Nike Bauer. <laughs> yeah, people look at me and they go, why? Why don't you get new ones? Um, because they're comfortable. They, I mean... I'm pretty sure if Liam were to put a dry one on, he would say that they're comfortable. I'm not and doing it. This one's dry. I'm not doing it. Come on! Is it really dry? It is dry. I don't know how. Alright, fine. Whatever. But, uh, yeah, they're super comfortable. One of them sometimes falls off my arm. Uh, but other than that, the, the, I mean, great protection all the way around. I mean, are they not comfortable? They're pretty comfortable. For being a little different know. than mine, I just but like yeah. For, I, don't I don't even know how old they are. Um, I think Nick actually gave them to me. Oh really? Uh yeah, he found them and I needed new ones because mine were really crappy and I got these. People still look at me weird when I'm getting dressed. Like why do you have such old stuff when they're all got brand new crap? You don't um, need top of the line no, stuff you to don't. be good at hockey. You, know? you don't. I mean, like, go like, with what makes you feel comfortable. If it's still, like if it's something that's ten, years twenty like, years old, who cares? If it's comfortable to you, use it. I'm just gonna bet Yarmir Yager still uses probably like freaking uh, what's the name of that company that doesn't exist anymore? Jofa. Jofa, yeah. Jofa for the. Home. I bet you he uses like those really tiny like Jofa unless, yeah, he's, yeah, unless he's, he's got some crazy he's got, awesome yeah, sponsorship. Got, but like, yeah, who knows? But yeah. I mean, yeah, use what you got to use, guys. Uh, let's do gloves next. Ooh, my favorite. I got two pairs to talk about. Let's talk about one. Well, they're different. So, I have two different pairs. They're kind of like the exact same thing, but not really. One's newer. Um, one's newer than the other. This, these are the old Bauer Four Roll Pros. These are probably my favorite gloves of all time. Um, I actually got these from an ex-girlfriend. Ex 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 girlfriend. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Wow! Way to go, Ben. Yeah, in case you guys want to know, I broke up with my girlfriend yesterday. That was, yeah, not fun. Um, yeah, that's why he was making that joke. But yeah, I got these from, yeah, a, pre a Christmas present, but these are like the best gloves. They're super cheap. Um, I don't know if they actually have these for sale anymore on like... eBay. <laughs> maybe eBay. Maybe I'll find them on eBay. But, yeah, I got, these, I got these to match the team. Again, Ryan, if you want to pan over to a jersey real quick, and you can like... So bam! Yeah, like it's the same color, same as the pants and everything. And just, just so happen to have my. He shoulder, looked like a giant like, blueberry. When I just so came. happen to have my shoulder pads be the same color too, so that was kind of cool. Um, my other pair is just the it's the Bauer Nexus four rolls. Um, they're Coyotes colors, but uh, I actually got these from Ben's uh, brother-in-law. <laughs> he just kind of gave them to me. Um, you just yeah, they're they're a little bit smaller. Like those ones are 15 inch gloves, and these ones are 13. Yeah. Yeah, thirteens. Tiny. And they're a little bit smaller, but I mean they're still really comfy. Like the four roll Bauer gloves are just like I don't think I'd use anything else to be honest. Unless someone like hooked it up with some brand new gloves or something. But I don't know, I would stick with these four rolls, but Ben what do you got? Um, same as you. Bauer four roll pros. I got mine kind of a little bit of a custom make off of eBay. 
Um, love the gloves. I've had them for, I want to say, four or five years plus. Which Chicago uh, ones? No. Kind of. I mean, as you can tell, they get used hard. Um, oh, that's true. I got a nice I, little palm hole right there, too. Stepping on my sticks. <laughs> um, I want to get new gloves, but I just love these ones so much that I'm probably going to get them repalmed. If you guys know anyone that does repalm, a good job at repalming hockey gloves and cheap, put it in the comments for us to look at. So, I mean, if Liam wants to get his done, I don't know. I want to get mine repalmed here pretty soon. Also, if you guys know some really comfortable gloves, like just yes. in general, let us know. If, you know, if they're not the florals, like, let us know what you guys think. Like, if you guys use, like, I don't know, uh, Easton, like, Easton or CCM. CCM. Like, I've been, I've been really debating on trying some CCM gloves, but I don't, mm, I don't know. But... Yeah, so I think, what do we have left? We just have a helmet, skates, and sticks. We'll, st we'll keep the skates and the sticks for the end. So let's do helmet next. I got two. Mine's, in my, mine's in my awesome pillowcase here. Oh, but I use the Bauer 7500 um, large. Maybe a motocross, baby. Got a huge head. Um, I use the Oakley visor with it. Um, I used to have, actually, it's like sitting right there, but I have a white CCM cage as well, but since... I'm 18 and I'm not really in a league that requires cages anymore. I'm through the through the Oakley visor on um, a lot better. I, I prefer visors over cages. Um, but yeah, overall, I've had three of these so far, and I love each and every one of them until the pads start falling out and the glue gets in your hair. That is terrible. Um, but uh, but yeah, I used to have. I actually well, Ben will get it when he gets into his second one. I, I used to have the same exact helmet, um, except Ryan uses it. Twins. Yeah, you'll, you'll find out what we're talking about, but uh, but yeah, I love this helmet. Um, probably would like like I said, if you guys know another comfy helmet, I'm gonna have to get one soon. So let me know, or let us know. Put it in the comments. Uh, yeah, ben, what do you, you got? You got two of them. Yeah, I got two of them. Um, pretty much the same exact setup. He's got the Bauer 7500 with the Oakley visor. And no ear protection. And no ear protection because <laughs> it's super comfortable. When I put my other helmet on, I got the ear protection, and it annoys the crap out of me. I'm just too lazy to take mine off. Yeah, <laughs> unless he's just too much of a girl, I don't know. <coughs> and um, you have taken a slap shot right to my ear, so. I, yes, I have. And that's, a story for, that's a story for another time. But, um, yeah, Bauer 7500, Oakley visor. This visor has come in handy so much. I've taken so many sticks up in this area. If I didn't have this, I probably would have a broken nose, missing some teeth, who knows. But this thing has saved it. Um... I need to get a new one because it is very scratched. I don't even, mm. I can't even see through it sometimes. But yeah, there's that one, and then my other one. This is the one I used to have too. Same exact helmet, Bauer 7500. Um, it's blue for the team. Got the team on it. I <laughs> for got the, the boys. For the boys. For yeah. the boys. I got the CCM. What is it the FM 580 white cage? Best cage you can get. Best cage you can get. Comfortable cage. Uh, super comfortable helmets all the way around. Like, I think this is my like fifth one. I'm not too sure. Um, super comfortable. Probably gonna take this one over when I'm done with the league with the cage. I don't know yet. Might stick with that one. But super comfortable helmets. Um, like Liam said, if you guys know any comfier helmets than 7500, let us know in the comments. We want I mean, to see what you guys got. We did do the review on that Warrior helmet, and that was a really comfortable helmet. But definitely let us it didn't know. Fit my head. Oh yeah, it's true. It didn't fit you too well, but fit, it fit me really well once I got the wheel thing to work. If you guys haven't checked that video out, go check it out. It's on our on our channel, obviously. Um, so we just got skates and sticks left, which kind of gets like a big deal. Um, Most expensive part of our. How do we get our? How do, how do we get such fast wheels here, Ben? No, I'm just, ah, just kidding. I don't know. Liam, I didn't know we had fast wheels. Yeah, well, my uh, my skates are probably yeah not nice. Um, these are Bauer one one hundreds, Supreme one one hundreds. Um, they're like the, the the step down from the old Total 1s before the NXGs and the MX3, so I'm about three generations behind. Um, I still love these skates. Um, I know they're not for sale anymore, and they probably, like, I don't know if you, like, Ryan, you want to get up closer here, I don't know where you're looking, but like, just, you can see how beat up they all, you know, I have the two light speed 2s on here still, like, I need to get some edges probably put on. Um, you know, they've, they're beaten up, they're missing the Bauer logos on both sides right here. Um, on both skates, I mean, I got them on this side, but, uh, but yeah, they are very comfy, and actually, funny story with my other one, not this one, but my other one actually doesn't even have an insole in it, I've just been, like, literally keeping my foot on the rivets, um, it's actually not as bad as you think it is, 
But uh, once you get used to it, you're kind of like, eh, well, I don't need to spend 50 bucks on some insoles. So. Okay. But I'm thinking about getting those, if I don't get new skates, I'm thinking about getting um, the CCM insoles that we use with the jet speeds. The oh my arch, god. The arch support. The, those, were, those were nuts. But I wish I could have some jet speeds, but I don't have $800. But yeah, anyways, uh, Ben, what do you got? I got the Bauer Vapor 7.0. See it right there. Um, like Liam said, our skates are not the best. I mean, they're beat up to crap. I had to put new uh, toques on. I got the Tuke Lightspeed Edge. Super nice going from the, what, what is on yours? It's got the same as the LS2, I believe. Yeah. Lightspeed 2 to the Tuke Edge. It's super comfortable. A uh, little bit taller. And you, I mean, it sounds crazy, but you can actually feel that like three centimeter taller. Uh, it's crazy. You get the good glide in there. Um, easy to change the blades. My second set of steel on these things, uh, I got the Tuke uh, just the LS2 steel, super nice, um, just super comfortable skate all around. Should I tell them how much I paid for these? Sure, go for it. I know Back you. I know you. I got mine for free. You got um, yours for free. When these skates were brand new, what was the retail? Like six hundred bucks, seven hundred bucks. I'm gonna say like five. Now I think it was up there a little bit. Five or six, yeah. Now keep in mind, these are the markdown from the original APX or Apex, whatever you guys prefer to call it. I got these skates for $75. Craigslist. Pretty much the way they look. In Arizona. Right? Actually, yeah, in Arizona. <laughs> I got them in a little bit better condition. Um, yeah, I think, I don't even know who used them. Um, super comfortable skate. I want to get uh, the, what is it, the 1Xs now. But again, don't have $900. Huh. So, sticking with these bad boys for now. Super comfortable. Uh, let us know what you guys use. I mean, on everything, let us know what equipment you guys use all the way down. Yeah, you know what? Actually, send us all of your guys' setup. That would be really cool. Yeah. If you guys just started posting, like, just be like, you know, shin pads this, elbow pads this, shoulder pads. Like, it would just be cool to see, like, what we're, you know, going up against. Yeah. I know, yeah, I know, I know, I know it's we're It's a little losing. weird. I use the Bauer, you know, the Bauer sock. Mm. Um, super nice. Keeps your feet dry. I use Vans socks. All right. Well. So now we got our sticks. Uh, last part so, of equipment. Yeah, last part. Um, I guess it's kind of like the one that everyone wants to know. What do we use when we shoot? Um, we know that we. How do you score we, your goals, Liam? Yeah. Well, we. Uh, yeah. It's not with the sticks I use. Definitely, it's the sticks we demo. <laughs> yeah. Um, probably. Yeah, we have been using a lot of uh, sticks. You know, obviously, you guys have seen behind the mask has definitely hooked us up with a bunch of uh, sticks, and I think we might have another review coming up here soon. Yeah. So. Um, it's gonna be a stick. Just, well, I'm gonna leave it there. That's all I'm saying. It's just gonna be. It might be a stick. Just say it. Might be skates. It might be gloves. No, it's definitely a stick. <laughs> Dude, you gotta leave him with a clip hanger. No, no, I just wanna say. God! Like, there's so many sticks out there right oh, now. Yeah. But anyways, so we each have two sticks here. Um, I'm gonna get into the one I don't like the most, um, or that I dislike. Um, it's the Easton V9E. V9. Uh, it's V9, but it's the E because it's gripped. Um, it's a pro stock. Um, Matt Fratton, who I think played on the Kings at the time when I got it, but now he doesn't. Um, I don't Who's actually know. I think maybe Toronto now? Maybe. I don't know. I it was but cool. he, uh, yeah, I got this stick for like 60 bucks when they were having like a pro stock sale. Um, and it's an alright stick. I mean, it's not, it's not my style of stick. Like, this is not good for slap shots. It's more for like if you're trying to just be like hands all the time. A lot of, that's what a lot of Easton likes to do with their sticks. Um, Made more for like the playmakers and you know stuff like that. Um, not really too much I can say about it. I mean, it's like a 90-ish flex. Um, uh, I don't know. It's nothing, nothing too special. Um, if any of you guys are living in Arizona and know us or just want to get the stick, I'm probably gonna sell it. If you guys want to, you know, just saying, we can definitely work out a price like 40 bucks or something. I don't know. We'll, we'll figure it out. If you if you are interested in it. Write it down in the comments. Anyone. If anyone's interested. Yeah, actually anyone. I'll probably ship it, to be honest. <laughs> now, the stick that I normally use, um, Bauer Supreme MX3, or Total One MX3, whatever you want to call it. Um, it's also a pro stock. It's a Slava Voinov. I had one of these, and I broke it within about... It was like three weeks, wasn't it? Yeah. Uh, it was yeah. a sad, sad day. I almost cried. I love this stick. Um, when I'm not using like the demo sticks, like obviously as of right now my favorite stick of all time is the CCM Ribcore Reckoner, which we just reviewed last week. Two weeks ago. Was it two weeks ago? Yeah, it was two weeks ago because we did the vlog last week. Two weeks ago. Go check that video out. That was an awesome video. You guys blew up those views. Holy crap. Yeah. It was like a hundred and hundred views in like two days. It was, it was awesome. Um. 50 of those are me. Just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> yeah we just, just kept kidding. it back and forth. No. Um. I love this stick. Uh, it's, the curve is 
I mean, it's kind of like a cane with a little bit more of an open toe. So, I mean, it's you know more like a taze if you've ever seen that on Bowers. Um, this is actually a 107 flex. Um, when I'm on skates, I'm probably like 6'3". So, I mean, like, it you know it helps with your height and stuff like that. I love the slap shots off this stick. It's They're great. Um, you know, it's got the whole mid-kick. I'm not going to get into a review of this stick. But, like, you know, it's got the mid-kick in it. So, it really gets that, those slap shots off real quick. Um... Yeah, I, I love the stick. Uh, ben, wait, I want to keep you guys. It's already apparently like a 20 minute video, so let's. Ben, go ahead. Okay. I got. For my my backup is a CCM RBZ, the first RBZ. At least I think it's an original RBZ. It is Pro Stock. It is a Radium Verbata Curve Pro Stock CCM. I don't know if you can get that in there. It's a pretty freaking crazy curve when it comes down to it. Um, I can't use it. No. This. <laughs> Stick, normally with everything else I can use, my slap shot is amazing. I mean, anyone can vouch for it. Uh, but with this one, I can't keep it six feet from the top of the net. It just goes straight up with this curve. But my wrist shots are amazing. Uh, this one is, it says 85, but I believe it was cut a like little a bit. 90. So it's probably about a 90 to 93. Um, if you guys, any of you guys can... I don't know if you can get that in there. All that coding on there. If you guys know how to decode these sticks and let me know. I want to know if this is a true RBZ or if it's just a, I mean, a U plus crazy light or something like that painted. Um, I don't really. I used to have a stick like that. Yeah. Um, on both of my sticks. Yeah, it's probably over there. You keep 50. <laughs> on both of my sticks, you are going to notice I got it candy caned. But I don't got it candy caned with regular hockey tape. I got it candy caned with electrical tape. Why do you do electrical tape? I get asked nine times out of ten. Why, why, why? Eight of those are me. Yes. <laughs> about three times a day. Uh, when you got a stick that's really grippy, like this one once was, put electrical tape on it. It works with any stick. You can put electrical tape on it, and it will make it so you still got that grippiness, but your hand will still slide easily. Um, Liam's used one of my other sticks that I have that's really grippy with the electrical tape, and he said he liked it. Um, I'm surprised he hasn't done it on any of his yet. Yeah. My next stick, the stick that I use in all my games, is an Easton Mako 2, I believe. It could be an RS, but it is a Mako 2. Again, it is a Pro Stock Ridding Verbata. I found this one, what was it, last year? Yeah. On the way to our... Game of Flagstaff, wasn't it? No. No, that was the MX3. That was... That was my MX3, just kidding. Was it that one? Yeah. Oh. Um, I believe I got this on our way to like one of our championship games for a tournament which I used the stick the whole game and I actually won the game with it um, this stick as you can tell it gets beat to crap um, I mean being a center it's, they're going to for the record I tied that game with like 10 seconds left just and I won it over the <laughs> shootout because no teamwork was... for the boys <laughs> uh, but yeah got the I believe it's a Mako 2 I'm not really sure but it is a Bravada it's probably about a 95 uh, Super good kick on it, like Liam said, we're not going to do reviews on our sticks all the time. That might be a different video. Not, yeah, it could be we'll a different see. video if you guys want. Um, but yeah, super nice. The only thing that's really sad is it's starting to break, it's starting to rattle really bad. Oh, that and, sounded terrible. Yeah, that sounded really bad. I don't know how the fuck it happened. Someone stepped on it and left a oh, nice man. little stick skate mark in it. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. It's a mark, it's a hole. Yeah, a hole. I don't know if you can see it. But... I was sad when I saw that when I took the tape off, um, but yeah, again, I got the shaft candy candicated with that white electrical tape, you can't even see it on this stick, I mean, it's time for some new because it's all chewed up, but yeah, that's my equipment, pretty sure Liam's done. I'm done, yep. Yeah. Um, yeah, I hope you guys like this video, um, definitely leave a like, uh, you know, like I said, let us know your guys' setup down in the comments, even if it's simple, just letting us know what sticks you guys use, or the recommendations we asked, you know, do you got any skates, gloves, helmets, anything that you guys know they're comfy, want us to try out. Maybe even, maybe we can even do a review on some of them, you know. Let us know what you guys want. Um, we actually noticed a lot of you have comment, started commenting and stuff. It's awesome. Um, keep it up. Uh, you guys are doing great. this stick. Um, <laughs> um, what was the other thing I was going to say? I don't know. Uh, I'm not even right. Mm. Oh. Hope you guys like the, the quality of our, we're filming with our new camera in this video, so hopefully it's a lot clearer. Hopefully you guys can, you know, see everything. Let us know if you can tell a difference. Yeah, if you can see a difference. Uh, we might do a comparison video one day, just the same exact I thing, but with two, camera with, but two cameras. But 
yeah, anyways, don't want to keep you guys any longer. It's probably like a 30 minute video at this what point. What time is it? It is 3.20 here. I gotta be at work in about an hour and I gotta work until 1 in the morning. Woohoo! Yeah, there we go. Alright guys, hope you guys like the video. We'll see you next week. And yeah. Later! Let's go, let's go.